What's up guys, I'm doing another real estate segment and I'm just gonna be responding to the last real estate video I posted um, where I was basically recommending some tips on how to get started or what I would do if I wanted to gain some experience in real estate. And if you watch that, um, first off, once again, I'll be really clear, I am right now investing most of my passive, uh, or sorry, most of my income into cryptocurrencies. I think long term, at least for now at this point, the crypto market is much more undervalued than real estate. Um, I'm saving up as much capital as I can because I do feel like the, there will be a correction in the real estate market. Um, the last time I started buying properties was 10, 2010 to 2012. I got amazing deals. If you go through my channel, you'll see most of the properties I picked up for 400 to 500, and now they're all worth like 800 and up. So I basically doubled my money, and um, I went over how I've been renting them and cash flowing them and not having to put a lot of money into the property because they're generating rent. Um, but on a tangent, so I made some recommendations of finding a place to rent where you could sublease. And then there was a bunch of comments that basically people were like, oh, you can't do that. Um, the landlord won't be okay. And that's true, but you can find landlords. And <clears throat> for me, because I'm renting six bedroom houses, I put in the lease that it's okay to sublease. They just have to notify me. And, um, you do want to find a landlord that is friendly or open to, for example, another way to kind of generate income in your property or where you're renting is to set up Airbnb. And you're right, there's a lot of landlords that do not want Airbnb, do not want you know to sublease, and those are the people you don't want to really do business with. You want to find a landlord that um, there's you know open to allowing you to sublease the room, so you can obviously knock down your rent and uh, maybe allow you to do Airbnb so you can test that out in your market to see if it's profitable and something maybe you want to do for some side income. Uh, another recommendation too is you want a landlord that you can go direct to instead of an agent because if you want to buy in the future, if you're able to let them know that you're interested in buying, you can do the transaction by going straight to an escrow company and you're going to save about depending on what you pay for a real estate agent, but it's about five to 6%. So if you're dealing with a multi-million dollar property, uh, maybe that's too big of an example, but if it was a million dollar property, that's $60,000 you can save on the transaction. Um, so it's really important to try to find landlords that are flexible and willing to work with you so you can kind of set up this side business or side hustle where you're renting rooms and seeing if you know real estate is something you wanna do. Uh, another recommendation I make, and I'm actually open to this if anyone wants to do it, is um, I'm, I'm willing to sell or finance, especially if I can find someone who's willing to do more of the work and do the management for me. So I'm in some deals right now where I'm the managing partner, but uh, future properties that I buy, I would totally be open to a tenant who would come maybe rent the property for a year or two for me show that they actually know what they're doing and then I wouldn't mind setting up a deal where they can buy shares or buy into the to the property as long as they're taking care of the management they're keeping it rented uh, for me I'd rather get my capital back and you know put it into other properties and kind of scale and uh, for real estate um, I understand that you know owning it 100% is awesome but <clears throat> for me I believe in diversification I would rather have <clears throat> not all my eggs in one basket so I would rather own 10 houses 50% than own five houses 100%. Why, if something bad happens or I, I lose cash flow in a, in a house, I mean, if it's one out of 10, I can obviously take that hit easier than one out of five. So uh, for me, I'm, you know, one reason I'm doing this is because I'm looking for future real estate partners and I'm open to investing into any uh, market out there. So. Uh, don't keep your mind closed. Like, obviously, leave comments, and if you think something can't be done, I'll try to answer it and rebut it. But, um, you know, finding a rental where you can sublease the rooms should not be hard. I've done it myself, and I've rented now that I'm a landlord. I've rented to people that I allow them to do it. And like I said, it's a good it's a good experience. It's a it's a way to figure out if you want to actually do real estate or maybe. Uh, let's just be honest, investing in crypto, investing in stocks, it's a lot less work. It's a little more risky, but once you buy the stock, you kind of just sit on it. And that might be easier than having to deal with all this real estate stuff. So 
once again, let me know your comments and your opinions, but that's just, uh, you know, a quick answer to um, what people had commented on my last video. If you have a chance, please go through over so, some of my other real estate videos that I've done and um, I'll be looking for more comments. And like I said, I'll be posting once a week, uh, maybe twice a week, just going over some of my other real estate deals that I haven't shared. And maybe um, I'll even do some analysis on the market, stuff like that. So uh, I'll leave it completely open. So leave your comments. Let me know what you guys think. Hopefully uh, you're investing in crypto right now and then you'll take those profits and roll it into some real estate deals in the future. Um, so uh, thank you for watching and I will talk to you guys soon.